something I want to cover again, talking about the infinite banking concept. So infinite banking policy loans, okay? I'll use my own policy as an example. Let me go open my Guardian account real quick and see where I'm at. See what we got here. Give you guys the numbers again. So currently right now, I have a loan against my policy for 29,520. And then my cash value is 60,829. So just under 61,000, right? This is a guardian policy. Their dividend rate right now is 5.85%. Their guarantee is 4%. My current loan interest rate, so I'm at 5.66% right now. I'm at 5.66. That's the total amount I put in for the first year. This is what showed up in cash. This is what I have outstanding in loans. My loan interest rate is 5.66%. This is what I'm earning on that money. When I have this money out, this portion, this 29520 is going to be earning a 6% interest rate. So a portion, 29520 of 60829 is earning 6. The rest is earning that, between 4 and 5.85%. I'm being charged 5.66 on 29. 520. So 29,520 times 5.66% is, so interest cost, $1,670.94. Okay, that's what it has on my thing right now. Now, when you owe a policy loan, on your policy, the interest, right, it's, it's simple interest, and they actually have it, it's like, a, it's called, I think it's called annual simple interest. So it's like right up front. Now I believe if I were to pay this sooner, then I don't pay all that amount, I'll have to check on that. But right now, my goal is to just let it out, let it stay outstanding for the whole year, right? 60,829 still is in cash. This is Guardian's money that they loaned out to me. And that's what I'll pay back. So I'll pay back, let's see, if I'm not mistaken, I believe the 29,520 is in this 1,670.94. I forget, I think it's already included. I'm not too sure, I do forget about that, but let me see if I can figure this out. So 60,000, cash, 829. Let me times that by 4%. So on the low end, I should make, I'm gonna low ball what I just did and say I should earn about 2,300 bucks in interest, right, in the first year. So even though I took this money out, I'm being charged 5.66, but I'm also earning on all the money as if I never borrowed it. So come the, let's say I left this outstanding, let's say I didn't pay nothing, didn't even pay the interest on the debt. And let's say I'm at 29,520 plus 1,670, 94. So now I'm at 31,190, 94. First year. Okay, first year. Let's say I'm at that. But also, in my policy, I'm at the 60,829 plus 2,300. So now I'm at 
63,129. And let's say anniversary date comes. What do I do? I dump 70,000 into the premium and the funding amount and pay nothing towards the policy. Right? So if I throw in 70k, remember, right? 7,000 gets stripped right off the bat and then I've got the 5% rider fee, right? So 7,000 70,000 minus 7,000, now I'm at 63,000. That all goes towards PUA. The 5% rider fee comes out to 3,150. And then I also have term life insurance on this thing. I forget how much it charges me. I'm trying to see. I'm going to say 500. I think it might be less because I'm young, um, if, but it might be between five and seven. I forget, shoot. Um, but that's a cost, that's a cost. And then the 7K premium, that's a cost, right? So let's say I have another, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say flat 60,000 to work with, okay? So 63,129 plus 60K. Now what am I at? I'm being conservative here. It might be, it should be more the second year. The second year around, what happens is my one year term insurance will drop a little bit. It starts to drop every single year. Um, so that allows more money to go into the, the cash value. Um, so 63,129 plus 60,000. Boom, now I'm at 123,129, growing, let's just say 4% again, right? I'm using the 4% number. I know I'm going to get that because Guardian's been paying that for the last, I think, five years. It's been at that same rate. Um, and then the years prior to that, the number was much higher. Uh, I think it was in the six, seven. I think at one point, Guardian was paying out like 10 and 11% at one point. So if the interest market continues to drop, if the Fed continues to lower interest rates, then these should stay the same. I don't think they'll go up, but they should stay the same. So 123,129 times 4%, that's an earning of 4,925.16. So 123, 129 plus 4,925.16. Now I'm at 128,054.16 cash value. And I still have this outstanding. Let's say I took out another, uh, let's say I took a loan out for 25K, right? And I went to go 10X this, 10X that number, right? Outside the policy, okay? Outside the policy. Cool, got that money working for me. Got the rest sitting in there. Let's see what that number comes out to. 25,000 plus. 31, 190.94. Boom, I'm at 56. So now I got 56,190.94 in policy loans times that by 5.66% because it's a new year. All right, so it's going to be the, it's going to be a new interest rate since I never. Since I never paid this in this example here, if I don't pay this, then that shows up. And then next year, I get charged interest on that same interest. So it's, the number is going to get larger now, right? So now I'm at 3,180.40. 56,190.94 
plus that 3,180.40. Now I'm at 59,371.34. So now I got 59,371.34 in outstanding policy loans. I, and I still have my money growing, all of it, as if I never touched it. It still shows up. Right now on my site, it says I got 60K, right? Available cash value to use, right, is 30,244.97. So I could take a max loan out right now for another 30K. I'm not going to do that. I don't need to. Just having that money offset. So I got 128.05416 the second year, end of the second year, and I got all this money outstanding, 59,371.34. And let's say the third year, right, I go to pay it all back, right? So I wait three years to basically pay this back. And I paid 3,180.40 plus 1,670.94, that's 4,008. So total interest paid on the loan is 4,851.34. And then over here, conservative number, I got the 2300 I earned the first year and then the 4925.16 the second year. So I made 7225.16. That's on the low end, right? Because remember, the money I have outstanding over here, they're paying me 6%. And I'm only doing four on the whole amount. So let's say I went up one more percent, called it five. 60,829 the first year times a 5% return. That's $3,000, 4145. Right? So 3,41.45. And then the second year, 60,829 plus what I earned, 3,041.45 plus 60K going in. Now I'm at 123,870.45 times that by 5%. That is 6,193.52. So between 7,225.16 and that 6,193.52 plus 3,041.45, 9,234.97. So somewhere around these two numbers is what I earned in my policy in the first two years. So not even calculating what I'm going to earn the third year, right? But let's say at the beginning of that third year, on the anniversary date, before I even get, you know, hit with that next, you know, year, I'm, I, I pay it, right? I dump 70, but I also dump an additional 59 to just restore it all back to zero. Well, I paid the insurance company this, 4,851.34, but in return, the insurance company gave me that. On the low end, seven. On the high end, not even the high end, the mid, five, 9,234.97. So the question is, did I pay any interest, right? Yes, you did, over here on the loan but it didn't cost me anything over here. My, my principal never got lost. That principal money, I never lost it. It retains its value the whole time. It retains its value, so I don't use it. So this is what 
I think this is a good idea. Let me know if you like this because this is how I'm going to try and explain in, in more videos that I do when people ask about that policy loan interest, what happens if you don't pay it and you let it compound the second year, the third year, the fourth year. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how long I have this. This is separate from what you're earning over here. And as long as we have a legitimate plan that we can follow <clears throat> in terms of how am I going to fund this policy each and every year? What am I going to do with the money that I borrow out? What am I going to do with it? Like I said, I, took that, I take that 25, I take that 30, and I try to 10x. All right, if I 10x, there's only so much I can pay back into the policy, right? And I just keep going year after year after year. So any questions on that? Do you guys like that? Any questions? Any questions? Uh, did you use the policy for investments or debts? The first amount of money that I took out, not that, this. The first amount of money that I took out, yes. Paid off, excuse me, paid off some debts <clears throat> and I 10X'd. I put some money in the business. I actually, what did I do? I took like 10k and I threw that in a fix and flip deal right so I put it in, into a fix and flip investment which is going to earn a 20% return so I'll, I'll get 12k back and then the other money the rest of it paid off some debt right and got my cash flow up like 500 plus saved a good two to three K on interest. And then now that money is just sitting there and this is what I'll pay. And if I don't pay it within the first year, well then the second year I'll pay this much if I take out this much. Even if I took out a little bit more, like if I took out a lot of money, like I don't wanna go above 66%, but even if I did take out 66% of what I have in cash value, it still won't breach what I have owed here, right? Maybe if I took out the same amount of money that I had out in cash, then it'll probably, it might be like neck and neck. But even then, you got to remember that the insurance company is crediting a, crediting a six on whatever we take out. So we have, we'll always have a little nice little gain there. We'll have a nice little gain. Um, let's see. Pentacle says, like it. Awesome. Glad you like it. So I think I'll uh, close out with that idea there. I just want to take, I wanted to take a whack, take a crack at that to see if I could explain policy loans properly. Because I know when I'm, when I'm explaining policy loans over the phone, people are like, you know, even I get myself a little confused because it's weird. It's like, wait, I, I borrowed the money. How, how could I still have the money in there? I know. But then once you realize how freaking cool that is to borrow money and it not cost you anything, and then what you do with the money is key. Because you don't want to just you don't want to just borrow money and never pay it back. Right? That's that's not wise. We want to keep washing the money. This is the most legal way to wash money. Okay? The most legal way to wash money. There are other ways. But I only want to go over the legal one.